Hi guys, this is Kim again and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is how we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people. When you look at yourself and you look at your unique gifts and you look at your unique abilities and you know, look at it in a real, real way you will find that you don't need to compare yourself to other people and that's what I want to talk to you. I have four ways that we can go about doing that and um, you know you'll learn some things and you will learn that you should stop comparing yourself to other people. The first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is how we need to get clear about who we are. What you need to do is sit down with a pen and a piece of paper and just write down all of your unique gifts and all of your unique abilities and all of the things that you're great at and you will see that comparing yourself to other people is not even necessary because we're all unique and we're all uh, you know we, we have our own gifts and abilities so we're all unique so we don't we should not compare ourselves to other people at all the next thing that we need to do is seek meaning, not approval. When you go through your life looking for recognition, you always notice when people are getting ahead of you. When you totally concentrate on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to pursue, uh, what you are uh, looking to achieve, you are busy concentrating on what you're doing so you don't have time to look at other people. So, um, you know, seek meaning, not approval. Don't look for recognition. Just concentrate on your abilities and the things that you are trying to do in your life and not looking at other people. The next thing that we need to do is know that everyone has their own strengths. When we're children, what our parents do, they compare us to different people. They'll say things like, um, why aren't you doing your homework like your sister Karen is doing? Or why aren't you, uh, you know, helpful like Bobby next door? And that's where we learn how to start comparing ourselves to other people. But we're all unique. We're all different. We're all gifted. We all have our own abilities. So don't compare yourself to others because that is unnecessary because we're all different. So uh, don't compare yourself to other people because uh, you're a different person than they are. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is emulate what works. When you find that someone has been successful in doing something that you want to do, um, you can look at what they've done and, you know, try it out. Um, if it works, great. If it doesn't, you can go back to being who you are and, and just going by your abilities and your strengths. But you, you can look at someone who has been successful and if they have done some things that you want to try, that's fine. But you're not comparing yourself to that person because you're just using something that they've used in order to be successful and it may work for you and it may not. So don't compare yourself. Just use what they have. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's all I have for you today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I love you. Always, always love yourself. And I will talk to you on the other side. Bye.